guys what's going on this is always back with another video of java essential training series so this video is going to be about creating classes and i want to mention that from this video onwards we're going to discuss the object oriented side of java so classes are critical components of all object oriented programming languages the class is a blueprint for an object the classes are used to represent the state and behavior of the real world objects such as a person, a bank account, a vehicle. All classes contain instance data constructors, which are special methods used to build an instance of our class and method. The block of code common to all objects of this class that represent the object's behavior. So you might be asking why classes? Well, classes are reusable. Multiple programs can use the same class. Classes also allow us to encapsulate data that means to protect the data, to help enforce data integrity. Data is defined as private inside the class, and data is then assessed using get and set methods, which are otherwise known as accessor and mediator method. I think it's time for an example. To create a class in IntelliJ IDEA, you can go to File menu, New, and then Java class. There's another way you can do that. Make sure that you're in the packages, okay? Usually it's in the project, so change that to packages. And then in your package, right click and you get the same menu, Java class. All right, so I'm going to click on it and I'm going to name it my class. Let's. So the class name always start with a capital letter. Okay, so click OK. And on the top, you can see that I have this class created by Weiss Mirza. All right, so I'm going to add some variables with the data in it. And then we will learn how to access this class in our main class. So let's go back to my class and add some details to our class. So let's say I want to create a class about my details. All right, so let's say I study in a school. So I have a role number, I have the name, and I have uh, age and a few more information about myself, right? So I'm going to create a class now. Let's say I will declare another variable. So let's say int, okay? And then I'm going to name it, let's say, it's id, okay, semicolon. And let's declare a variable for my name. So I'll use string, okay, and then let's say name. Okay, and then I will use my, um, let's say, a few information about myself. Let's say my age, so int age, okay. And then another string variable which has a few information about myself, okay. So let's say bio, okay. So I have four variables here in this class. To access this class in my main class, so let's go to our main.java class, okay? So here to access that, I need to create an object with that class. Okay, so to create an object, all you have to do is just use the name of the class. So let's say my class, IntelliJ idea will tell you there's a class, my class is available, right? So I'm just gonna click on it, and then I'm going to name my object, let's say my info info is equal to new is a keyword and then again the name of the class okay so my class and then semicolon in those parentheses i could pass arguments or parameters but for now i'm gonna just leave them empty right we'll discuss that in a second let's press enter now okay to access that object now and that class Let's say I will type my info, okay, and press a decimal point, right? Once you press decimal point, any IDM, let's say IntelliJ IDEA, NetBeans, or Eclipse will give you some option. So in that my info object, or you can call it instant as well, we have three variables, age, bio, ID, and name. So I'm going to use ID first, right? And I'm going to say is equal to, let's say, 10, okay, and semicolon. And then I'm going to access that object again, my info dot name. 
all right and is equal to and this is a string variable so that's why i have to use a double quotes and i'll just type my name always mirza right and then semicolon at then and then my info dot age so i'll type is equal to 28 semicolon that's because it's an integer variable there right and then mine for dot bio right so that's a string there is equal to and let's say i am a programmer and of i don't know but let's say just i'm a programmer that's fine okay and then semicolon at then right so now to print out those details i will type s out right and then the name of the variable now so i'm using mine for that id so now i will say my info dot again i get four options because in that my class i have four variables declared so you can see the type of that variable as well so int string int and string okay so now i'm going to type id okay and then i'm going to say plus for concatenation and let's say my info and then dot name okay and then plus and then my info dot age and then and again contact concatenation operator my info dot bio all right so now if i run this program it's going to print out these values all right, as you can see that 10 always are 28 i'm a programmer that class can be used to create as many objects as you want so i'm going to go and create another object all right so let's say i will add uh, some details of my brother now so let's say i'll say my class okay and i will try my brother's name as fun is equal to new okay and then my class the class name and then that's our object now so i'm just gonna write it this is called an object or instance all right so we can use the same class with that object and print out some more details so let's say i will say asfund dot okay so now when i type decimal object i get age bio name equals to our id so i mean id is equal to let's say 11 all right and then asfund So if I go and print this out again, so as out, and then I will say asfund.id, right, plus operator, which is a concatenation operator again, asfund, all right, so dot name, plus asfund.age, okay, plus operator, asfund.bio. Okay, so let's print this out now run the program so you see 11 is id aspen mirza 23 is a model okay, guys so now let's talk about the constructors so if i go to my class.java as you can see that in this class i don't have any method but instead of method i'm going to create a constructor here to access this data to my main.java so we're going to start creating a constructor so type a keyword public and then type the name of the constructor so i'm going to keep this the same name so i'm going to say my class okay that's going to be a constructor and then i'm going to add a parenthesis here and here i'm going to declare variables right so i'm going to int id comma that's a string string name comma int age comma string bio right and then i'm going to add a code block two curly braces all right so now i'm going to use another keyword 
to indicate that I'm referencing to these variables and not these values. Okay, so that is this. So type this dot, and then when you press dot, IntelliJ Idea give you some um, examples such as I have ID here, name, bio, age, right? So I'm going to say ID, okay, is equal to ID, right? So as you can see that when I type ID, that indicates that I'm accessing this value now. So we're gonna do the same thing with uh, every variable. So I'm gonna say this dot string, sorry, this dot name, okay, is equal to name, all right? And then this dot age, okay? So that's the variable we have in the class. So I'm gonna select that, is equal to age. Then this dot bio, okay, when I press enter, as you can see that these two things highlighting. So I'm accessing this variable now, is equal to bio, right? Okay, so we got our uh, variables here. Now I'm going to create another constructor down here to print out the values, right? So I'm going to say public, right? And then this is going to be string, so select string, and I'm going to use a method to string, okay? With parentheses, and I'm going to add a code block here, right? And then here I'm going to return a value. So I'm going to say return, okay? And then say in a, um, in quotations, you can type my ID, okay? ID, and then I'm going to get out of the quotation and then as a, add a concatenation with the plus operator and then say ID, okay? So now I'm accessing this variable, okay? And then I'm going to add another concatenation and add a quotation. And here I'm going to use a modifier. So I'm going to slash, and this is going to create a new line for us, okay? All right, so here I'm going to say my name is, and then space, get out of the quotation, concatenation again, and then type name, okay? Concatenation again, and quotation again, and then say, this is my age, okay? Get out of the concatenation, add concatenation, and then I'm going to use age variable, right? Plus quotation again, and then I'm going to say this is my bio, okay? Enter, add a concatenation here, and then I'm going to say bio, okay? And then add a, com a semicolon, right? So I'm just going to press, let's say enter here, so we can just get that in two lines to readable, to make it readable. All right, so this is our constructor now. All right, so let's go back to main.java now. And here, um, as you can see that there's a line here, a red line. So it's telling me that I need integer, string, integer, and string, right? So first let's make this code a comment so it doesn't, go through the compiler all right let's come down here and finish the comment just going to press enter strike and forward slash all right so now if I hover over my cursor here as you can see that I need integer string integer and string okay so I would say my ID is 10 comma and then I'm going to add a string value here so my name is going to be always, okay? And then add a comma here and then say I'm 28 for the age and then another string. So here I can say I am a programmer. Okay, so now to print it out to the console, just uh, say system.out.println and then I'm going to use that my class, sorry, my info here all right so type my info okay and then decimal point and use that two string method because the two string method is the method in my class which is returning this value all right so i'm going to use that method with this data 
let's run the program and we should get the result all right so it says my id my name is away so this is my age 28 and this is the bio all right so here you can type let's say and and then you can say and here to break the line to go to the next line basically and let's see all right so my age is 10 my name is away so this is my age and this is my bio and i'm a programmer you can create multiple objects to use that myClass.java. Let me show you another one. All right, so let's say I will give my class, okay, and I'll say let's say asp info, okay, is equal to new my class, and then here I can pass to those values as well. So let's say I'll say his ID is eleven, comma. His name is which is going to be string aspen. Okay, and let's add next line here and after the name. All right, so next add a, another one here by using comma and he is 23, then comma again, and then I'm going to add quotation and and let's say I'm a programmer. Well, he's a model, so he's a model. All right, so add the same column and then to read that out as well. So system that out, the same thing we did before. So I'm going to say asfund info dot two string method. Let's run this program now. Okay, so we have the both values here. My ID, blah, blah, blah. My name is Aspen, this is my age. And so you can create a multiple objects and use that class now so that's it for this video guys i hope you like it and if you find this information useful then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe all right so and you can follow me on twitter at awaysmizza01 and if there is any question leave that in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers